Essential education is about so much more than the specific subject areas. And when I think about what it means to be involved in preparing for the next stage, both of our community and of our world, it's preparing young women to really see themselves as essentially necessary for solving the problems of the world. We recognize that having representation from nine different communities is an opportunity for us to participate in nine different communities, and we've made a great effort to bring MTA to each of our communities. The yeshiva is one family now, each in our own communities, but together. They're choosing to come to Central. They're choosing to make that commute from wherever they're coming from. And that pride and that excitement about showing up in school every day is what makes the community at Central so close-knit and so warm. I came by myself from my elementary school and right away I felt that everyone at Central just wanted me to become my best self. That's what it means to be part of the Central community where every girl is valued, appreciated, and believed in. MTA offers on Friday mornings an 8.30 minion in Teaneck and Monsi. After minion, an MTA Rebbe gives a short shear with donuts. Even though we don't have school, the whole MTA community is brought together. We all bond over Torah and food, so it's, it's very nice. Chaim regularly goes to the tissues on Friday nights that are held in, the, in Rabbi, Rabbi Khan's house. And that's something that gets him on a day off to go out and just learn Lishma. To have so many kids going, for him to go, and so many kids going as well alongside of him is something that's um, that really has an impact on you know on the boys sometimes more than even the day in day out you know, the sheer programs that they have throughout the year. When you speak about you know what's next, I think it's important for high school students to think about too. What is my role as a young Jewish adult beyond my own Dalit Amos, beyond my, beyond my own community, my own uh, neighborhood? It gives students a sense of responsibility for the broader Jewish world, and I think that's very much a part of Chinuch as well. So MTA offers a lot of chances to go on little excursions for Chesed. This year I'm involved in the iShine program where uh, high school volunteers go to Yeshiva Anam and Paramus and we help out children who've lost loved ones or have sick loved ones at home. We provide them attention and care. Some of our Talmidim went to, to fold and to package clothes for our fellow brothers in Israel. Central's commitment to all the Chesed programs between the Yachad Club, the CSI mission that all grades participate in, food drives during the year, and Pretty in Pink Month, which is a month-long recognition of breast cancer awareness. And I never thought as a high school student I'd have opportunities to run programming for the school. What high school student gets opportunities like that? As a member of the Israel Advocacy Club, I had the amazing opportunity of going on APAC last year. APAC and Central has showed me that even though I am just a high school girl, that I am still able to make an impact on the Jewish world. After Pesach, Central has an incredible program called the Senior Post-Pesach Program, which has really evolved over the last couple of years. The purpose of the program is to prepare our students for what lies next, what comes after high school, how can they benefit the community, their future communities, build their future homes, and give back to the Jewish community after they leave the walls of high school. It's of critical importance to us that our parents feel a major part of our Yeshiva High School community. In order for all of us to grow to be our best, we really need to be in it together. And so, for sure, faculty are always working together, but we've invited parents into uh, learning opportunities, and really we've put some of the issues of the community on our plate. It only makes the feeling of being one MTA family in the building so much stronger. I've been in this building for three plus years, and just there's a feeling of comfort, of community, when you're here. And I'm excited to continue engaging in it and, and visiting and feeling comfortable again in this place. I feel a sense of pride to be part of the chain that my grandfathers and my parents and uncles have all been a part of. What it means to me to be a lion for life, coming together as a one unit, one team type thing to really just succeed in any aspect in life. We have amazing basketball players, amazing volleyball, soccer, tennis, whatever the sport, our girls are on top. And there really is a collective excitement around a Wildcat win. It's an unbelievable feeling where you have pretty much the whole entire MTA standing behind you chanting, let's go Lions. It's a sense of community that I've never really felt before, before I came to the school. So being on any hockey team is a great experience overall, but especially being on the MTA hockey team where there's so much history and legacy to follow, it makes it that much better. It was just such a wonderful group of boys and coaches and the rabbis would come to the games. And you just form another circle of friends that you would never have thought of talking to. 
One of the most amazing experiences that our Tell Me Them get is that they learn once a week on Thursday nights in ninth grade. They're paired up with a Talmud from YU to learn with, to mentor. It's really nice when you have role models right there on campus and mentors right there on campus. Um, it's an amazing opportunity for um, our alum to be able to teach and to be able to inspire and mentor the students here at Central um, from their experiences that they gained here. Twice a week I learn with uh, different groups of students from high school. On Wednesday mornings I learn with a smaller group of seven or eight boys, we study Sefer Mitzvahs together. And on Thursday afternoon, I learned with a larger group, about 20, 25 boys. Over the years, I've participated in several of these groups, and the Talmidim chose what we would learn, and it's an opportunity for the Talmidim to have access to other Rebbeim on campus. When they're old, they'll be able to say, tell their children and grandchildren, when I was in ninth grade, I was already learning by Rav Shachter. Even that experience in and of itself is priceless. Sitting in our Chabura with Rashi Yeshiva such as Rav Herschel Shachter and Rav Moshe Weinberger is really incredible because being a couple feet away from these Horus scholars that know so much is a unique experience that only MTA can offer. At Central, students experience that their learning makes a difference and realize that whether it's in the classroom or outside the classroom, in their academics or in their co-curriculars, they themselves are developing the skills to make a huge difference to our community and to our world. Gil and David Weinstein are pillars of our community. They're always asking us what's on the horizon for MTA, what is MTA doing to continue to provide the best possible experience for our Talmidim. What does it mean to me to be a lion for life? It's really encapsulated in, in one word, which is growth. The excellence all around us really helped us to grow uh, and thrive. And, and really in these transformational years between ninth and 12th grade, uh, it was the perfect place to help us, you know, get us to the next step. Today's MTA, I think, really upped its game. Rabbi Khan brings to the yeshiva today is something that is a really a great product and that we're really excited to have our children take a part of, and we think it's a great place for them to uh, take advantage of, uh, of this and, and move ahead in, in a big way. David is always learning in the base medrash, uh, either directly with his chavrusa or when his chavrusa can't make it, they're learning over the phone. Uh, he would always kid me that there's really nobody at the other end, but I know there is, and uh, that kind of commitment to Torah, uh, for certain, uh, declares a lot about who he is. He is the image of a man that you want to be that MTI instills in their students. The Gila too is involved in many, many community activities. They represent all the best traits of the parents of our yeshiva, I'm very happy to uh, participate in this way in celebrating the contribution that David and Gila Weinstein make to our yeshiva. And parents who are dedicated to the Hatzacha of, of their children, of our yeshiva, and really every child in our yeshiva. I used to park my car right in front of Golan, right across from MTA, and I needed to bring something to somebody, and I would just watch the boys coming in and out and going across the street, and the rabbis, and the YU boys, and it was just such a great environment. I'm a third generation MTA student. I get all the clothing that was ever made in MTA, which is it's a big win. They grew up so much, like they walked into the doors of MTA, and all of a sudden, they were, they acted mature, they were treated differently. Gila and I would like to take this opportunity to, to thank our friends and family for, for coming tonight. Hopefully you enjoy the event. I, I would definitely want to thank all of the teachers and the rabbis for so many years of parent-teacher conferences and so many years of taking such good care of um, our boys. Mazel tov to my favorite aunt and uncle, Gila and David. Mazel tov, David and Gila, on this well-deserved honor. Thank you for everything you have done for our yeshiva. Most importantly, thank you for sharing your treasured sons with us. Mazel tov, mom and dad. You guys really deserve this. Um, you guys are really the example of really committed, dedicated parents. You guys were always there for me, and, and it means a lot to me, and it means a lot to all of us brothers. MTA was really like a place where we could just be ourselves and, and use all the resources that MTA had, because MTA basically has no ceiling. And I'm just happy to be here. Mazel tov again. We gotta do it together, it'd be great. Okay, wait, ready? One, One two, two. Mazel tov! Mazel tov. Oh, just like that.